It's a story that'll have you thinking twice about what your homeowner association dues are actually paying for. An Albuquerque HOA is now under police investigation after neighbors claimed one member stole from them for more than a decade. In a KRQE investigation, Amperette shares the neighborhood's frustration and why they think it went unnoticed for so long. So it's $600 even for every single one. So there wasn't even a time that she missed on a monthly basis. $600 paid monthly directly to the now former homeowner association president signed by the now former homeowner association president. We're not naming the exact association located near I-40 and Wantabo or the former president to protect her identity because she hasn't been charged with a crime. And it says $10 per home. So I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> you were so, not aware of that. No, I was not. None of us were aware of that. Jocelyn Reichbach says members pay $50 a month as part of the HOA. And according to multiple association expense reports, bank statements and check receipts going back at least 15 years to 2009, the former president was paid $10 each month from everyone's dues but one, her own. That's around $7,200 a year, or 20% of the HOA's annual income. Now neighbors want to know what that money was used for. The checks say maintenance. These are all the boxes that we acquired when we became the, well, actually, I became the interim president for right now. In the new role, Reichbach spent a lot of time sorting through the HOA's records, but says she can't find any documentation dating back to 2009, stating the president of the nonprofit could pay herself a monthly salary. So we haven't found anything like that, and I, we've asked neighbors and nothing to back that piece up. And looking through the HOA's bylaws, it states the neighbors have to approve any payments with a vote. It doesn't specifically state any like salary or hourly wage in there. It kind of just says like, it, you know, like, like you can get reimbursed for expenses. But Reichbach says that wasn't even voted on because they've never had a meeting. Not since she moved into the gated community in 2019. Luis Oaxaca, who purchased his home in 2012, said the same. Never done any meetings. Which means they've also never held elections. So the former president held that position, the two say, since she was first elected in 2003. I mean, your own people, you taking money away from them. This is not right. Oaxaca is one of the neighbors who attended a few meetings in June to talk about moving forward. And around the same time, he says, they received this, a resignation letter from the longtime president. She didn't show up to their meetings, but her husband did. And he wanted to, to talk and to excuse himself and his wife. And I said, I'm not going to let that happen here in front of all these people. You know? Oaxaca says he started recording this video when the interaction got heated with the husband telling them some people knew about the payments. They're not here today because um, they just haven't. But in all honesty, we felt that the amount of work that we were putting into that, uh, the time and effort, we were putting 40 to 50 hours a month into it. Well, I filing liens against people who don't pay their dues on time by dealing with the courts and the lawyers, by going to the city back and forth. The same reasons shared with one neighbor in a September 2020 email from the HOA account. But to be fair, if you are paying yourself, that should be sent to everyone without people asking. I think that is fair. I agree, and we never updated that, but there were people that have been paid. <laughs> I'm admitting the mistakes are made. Mistakes isn't a strong enough word for Reichbach. Do you think she committed a crime? I feel like she 
did. She filed a police report, and Albuquerque Police's organized crime unit is investigating. Reichbach also called the New Mexico Department of Justice and the Secretary of State, thinking they'd help her hold the now former president accountable. But she quickly learned there's no department in any local or state government office that oversees HOAs. So the neighborhood's only other recourse is paying for an attorney to sue. And I was just like, wow, <laughs> you know, like there's like nobody who enforces anything about HOA. So, you know, what I mean, it's like basically a person can just get away with doing a lot of stuff if nobody's paying attention. Something she and Oaxaca never expected to deal with in their own neighborhood. Yeah, I know there's a lot of HOAs in Albuquerque. They might be suffering and it's just the people that can stand up and and fight for their rights. So a lot of people is taking advantage like this people. How does someone like steal from other people for like years on end and and feel okay about it? We did connect with the former president's husband who took my contact information and said he'd have his attorney call me. He added, quote, we have nothing to hide. We haven't heard from them. Their home is now up for sale. Neighbors tell me they watched the couple pack several U-Hauls last month and Perret. KRQE investigates. Some homeowner associations hire a manager to serve as oversight. This outside company or individual will then handle the association's finances and hold the HOA to its, by, to its laws. Reichbach says the neighborhood looked into this but decided it's too expensive for now.